Celian, today I'm taking you to see someone really special, someone I call Papa. But the world knows him as Daniel Boulou, one of the best chefs in the world. When I first met Daniel, I thought he was pretty intense. I was just coming from France, and when I first stepped at restaurant Daniel, I saw this madness of people rushing and running. I didn't know what to expect. I knew he was a tough chef, and I knew, of course, he was one of the best, but I didn't know I would have such a close relationship. The beginning was not always easy, uh, but we found a great way to work together and build an amazing relationship. I think Daniel has always been very, very supportive of my work, of everything I've done uh, since I left Daniel, and that, that means a lot to me. And I'm hoping maybe today he has some advice to give to you some. We are doing breakfast today. Breakfast. Oh, look at Adai. this. That looks delicious. Uh -huh. We have some smoked salmon. It's so cute. Look some at beautiful, this. beautiful butter. Hat. So, do you like caviar? Salmon? Uh, you like caviar? He hasn't we're tried eat yet. Caviar but today. It's going to be his first time today. And of course, we'll have some smoked salmon and some beautiful brioche nice. from Papa's recipe. Uh, what do you think <laughs> of that? I am making a brioche with an egg. It's a specialty we eat every Sunday morning at home. I've always put a little bit of salt on the bottom. Butter, the brioche, which the slice of brioche has been cut very thick. And I poke also inside two holes. But I like my eggs where the yolk still run very well into the plate. The smoked salmon, it's a Danish style smoked salmon. I lived in Denmark. Smoked salmon, very delicate, very um, light smoke. Putting a little bit of creme fraiche on this piece of the brioche. And okay. Cossetra caviar and the salmon throat eggs. Why not? Should we try a little like bit of caviar maybe first? Uh, can fresh maybe and caviar? Mm. Let's see if you like it. Uh, uh -huh. Yellow and orange. <laughs> you see, huh? Caviar is very expensive. You're right. Maybe you don't need it. Huh? Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's delicious. You like caviar? You're missing no? out on. Mm, maybe I'm, maybe I'm too sure. early for the for yeah. breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I think what you need with caviar is a date. <laughs> a little glass of champagne. Too. Yeah, a glass of champagne. Uh, you need to go on a date with a glass of champagne. Do you want to go on uh -huh. a date with that, for mom? But, uh, let me take that little grand, grand caviar. Mm. Well, you see, those eggs, that remind me where I grew up. <laughs> because every night, Mostly every night, you will go around the farm in the chicken coops and mm -hmm. pick up the eggs. Because you grew up in a farm. Oh, yes. Growing up, growing up as a kid on the farm, you know, you got to experience a lot of things, but never like this. <laughs> yeah, nothing <laughs> this that This is really so. urban dining. And I remember, I mean, like yesterday, you were this young artist coming from Paris, totally like, I never work, you never worked in the kitchen like this. Before. I never worked in the kitchen like this before. <laughs> and I, I was pretty nervous about it, I have <laughs> to tell you. <laughs> we just had the delivery truffles. from Plantin in France. Mmm, well, look at this. What well, is from Perigord? You want to smell? Mmm. It's gonna take a bite. Mmm. <laughs> They're beautiful. Mm. You want one? You want to hold one? Huh? Look at that. <laughs> oh, your first ruffle. Huh? Chasson. Papa too? Mmm. That smells very nice. Mm. <laughs> you want to taste? Oh, yeah. Crack? Mmm. Mmm. You like it better? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, that's a good reaction. <laughs> this is where Papa, this is where so many Papa was sending his famous dessert. 
Maybe someday. What was the name here. of the strawberry? They said you were making an amazing uh, strawberry dessert and many other things. Oh, they still talk about it. Yes. The one, the one with mascarpone. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, that was. That was good. It was like some sort of like tiramisu, with like mm -hmm. macerated strawberries. Absolutely. It was very simple, but very delicate flavors and. Oh, beautiful. Smile. <laughs> Spend so much Papa. time here, son. Yeah. Making all the desserts. Oh yeah, I remember those that, desserts. That's what kept you uh, in good shape, uh -huh. going up and down. <laughs> People always ask me, how you say so skinny? <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah. it's a part of it. C'est bon Are you good Can we go through Il préfère la truffe que le caviar. Ah ouais, ouais. Bonjour, mon chéri. Yeah. Hey, I brought you an apprentice. My favorite. L'orangette. Yeah. Do you want to try? Papa makes some amazing one. Can I send? Fearless. Oh yeah. But he tell you when he don't like it. Oh, yeah. He spins oh, it yeah. out. <laughs> he likes chocolate. He wants the whole thing. Huh? Wait. Ah, the skybox is still the same step. Very I steep. I love it. Steep steps. Steep steps. Ah. Oh yeah. Uh oh, it's gonna uh -oh. go for. Many famous people ate here, Celian, but not too many famous people was dancing on the table. <laughs> so Daniel, yeah. thank you so much for your time today. It was great to be back back home, I have to say, and to spend some time together and, and get you, some Dominic. good advice for Daniel. For, thank for you. Celine. So happy, so happy to see you, Celian. And uh, I think it's uh, your second visit. The first time you were not able to taste anything, That's but right. today he did a good job. I mean, he's uh, yeah, he's adventurous. Of course. Um, so smoked salmon and caviar was not his favorite, but he liked the chocolate. <laughs> I'm so happy that you are sharing, uh, you know, many uh, moments uh, you had in your life here with him now. Yeah. And uh, it's, uh, it's special. I think it's very special because when you're going to look back at this, uh, Celine's going to say, oh, God, yeah, my sure. dad was really crazy to take me. Yeah. At that year. No, no, you know, Daniel, was, Daniel yeah, has so a special <laughs> place in, in my heart and it will no, it for, and my life as well. It's it true, will and forever. That, and that's important for him to mm. know that. Huh? Mm. I love your shoes. A few years ago, Daniel Bulu texted me and told me it's time now for you to have babies. And my answer was like, I have a lot of bakeries. I'm already very busy. And he answered, it's a whole new different world, you'll see. I think it was a great advice. No, here you are, son. Yeah, good job. Where's my runner? We have so many tickets on the board, look at this. Full house. <laughs>